Welcome to LSU's Tiger Stadium after dark, an environment unlike any other in sports. Very intimidating for visitors, as they say, this is where visitors' dreams come to die. We've got a tremendous matchup for you tonight. Tailgating has been going on since the early morning, and this place is locked and loaded. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the UCLA Bruins, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Turn it from inside the five. Physical run breaks through a tackle. They bring him down, but it's good work by the return team. He found the lane, so this drive's going to start with decent field position. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Second down after that run on the previous play. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. The defense all over him. They stop him right at the line. Chris, I always talk about this. You can always gauge a team's toughness as a group by how willing they are to tackle with their corners. Here, the corner shows you he's not just out there to cover, does a good job of being physical and making that play. So on the opening drive, they're backed up here now, third and nine. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle, it's Taylor. The tackle across midfield at the 48, good enough for a first down. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. Using his legs, it's Williams. Has the first down is still going. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. Chris, it feels good to see an LSU team be able to run the football when you know they're going to run. I mean, they've been doing it forever. All the way back to like Jacob Hester and Kevin Falk. His ability to run the ball and catch out of the backfield. Leonard Fournette. And, of course, Clyde Edwards-Alaire on that great 2019 team. And now, LSU stable of backs again on this roster, too. And then first down, right back to the running game. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. He just breaks away and takes it to the house from distance. That's an elite running back type of play. You know, when he got out into the open field, I didn't know if he had the speed to take that thing all the way to the house, but he does. That's next level speed. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And it's 7 nothing after the PAT. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. They can't stop him. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. On the run, it's Harden. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Looking to pass, it's Garbers. Running back has it on the screen now. And he's shoved out of bounds, but the defense short of the first down marker. 
I love it. Early in a game like this where you get the running back involved, just get his hands on the football. Also, nice, easy screen. Gets the quarterback settled into the game. Nice, easy throw. And look at this. It ends up being a huge play. And the Bruins will come to the line to run the hurry up. And now they'll run it on the draw. Tackle of the 35, good enough for a first down. I love this unconventional call by the offense coordinator. Third and medium, a lot of times you're thinking about throwing the football, but instead they're able to run the ball with great execution and they pick up the first down. The Bruins will have first and 10 here. Quarterback keeps the football. A solid eight yard gain brings up a second and two. Man, every single time this guy runs the option, you're kind of like holding your breath, wondering if he's going to break a tackle or get out in the open field and use his speed. He picks up some yards here, but let's see if this defense can keep putting pressure on him and not letting him get out into the open. And there's the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zero in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught behind the line. It's Harden. May wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You've got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. The Bruins will try to keep this drive moving. It's a draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, the defensive coordinator has to be fired up about this play. The thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point. They didn't lose their leverage. They stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Scanning the field, it's Garbers. Quick throw to his receiver. And he pulls in the catch. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Hey, it's a first down here by the Houston. Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. Looks like they got the ruling on the field right the first time. They confirm it with the review. And looking to throw now on first down. Down he goes. A sack. There's a nice play by this defense after giving up a huge gain. They're able to turn things around, recalibrate, and get after that quarterback for that sack. We'll see if they can overcome the sack. Second and very long. Hand it off for a draw. Oh, what a move. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. This will be the tenth play of the drive, but it's third and long. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made after a big game. One of the areas that separates good offensive coordinators from great ones is how efficient their offense is on third down passing plays. And that was a perfect call and really well executed. And the Bruins will hustle to the line to run the hurry up offense. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Caught in the backfield. It's hard. Brought down after the catch, but at the eight-yard line, the offense is threatening here. 
Now the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. As a design quarterback keeper. Nowhere to run. No corralling for no game. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. Dropping back. It's Garbers. He's got it right near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Bruins. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. And the PAT is good. Now they get set to kick it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Looking for a gap, it's Williams. They'll tackle him at the 27. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. On third and short, they hand the ball off. Stopped out at the 39, but good enough for a first down. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. handoff from the shotgun and he's brought down but he does have enough for the first down you know all week the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback he told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football Man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big time game this LSU offense is moving quickly down the field that's the wide receiver coming in motion now the shotgun handoff here he gains nine, so it's second and one. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. They come to the line on third down, trying to keep this drive going. Can the defense get a stop here? To throw, it's Nussmeyer. That pass falls incomplete. 
How about the call here? They go with a screen on third down and short. You don't see that call very often. They're not able to even complete the pass, so no chance at a conversion. So we got fourth and short. It's fourth down and four to try to keep the drive going. Back in motion now. Trying for a fourth down completion. Finds his receiver. That's enough for the first down. And he picks up the first down. Tackled at the 32. Well, that's exactly when you want to go to your little slot receiver, right? He gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup on fourth down. Has all that room to work with in the middle of the field. Get him the football on fourth down. Come up with a conversion. Keep those sticks moving. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Thomas. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. The defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage and hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. LSU has moved into the red zone. And they'll use the ground game here. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And now the running back's got it again. And he's finally tackled at the three defense getting pushed backwards. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back, he just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. Goal line formation for the defense. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And the defense able to bring him down to wrap up the first quarter of play. Crucial play here to begin the quarter as the offense sets up with a second and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 14-7. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They were turning from inside the 10-yard line. Oh, the ball comes loose. Recovered by the kicking team now. They'll steal possession here. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. In the last possession, the defense just had no answer for this powerful ground game. Let's see what they can do this time. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Can they convert here on third down in the red zone? This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. Can he make it to the marker? And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. A good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases to be able to get positive yards, and here he gets the first down. The offense threatening now, first and goal. 
Pre-snap motion from the receiver. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. He's swarmed by the defense. Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. Coming up, second down and goal. Trying for the touchdown on the right side. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close to the goal line. Not only do they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. Defense getting very heavy here. Looking to stuff the run. Third and goal. Looking to throw the ball. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Tigers. What a call with a play action down inside the five-yard line. Completely froze the defense. Their eyes are in the backfield, locked in on the quarterback. They lost focus on where he might be throwing the football. Made an easy read for the quarterback and a touchdown. set up for the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Return begins inside the 10. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the UCLA offense is back out on the field. This would have touched them in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Takes the handoff. It's Harden. Solid run. They'll bring it back at the 28-yard line. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground. And you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Back to throw. It's Scarborough's. Receiver makes the catch. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of the first down. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. The Bruins will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Gonna pick up the third and short through the air. Makes a quick round. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. The Bruins come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And here's the handoff. Not much on that play. Brought down short. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Important second down play coming up. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And the receiver's got it. And he's tackled after the catch. Offense success the formation. It's third down. From the shotgun. Drops back looking for an open man. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. That's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down. And makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. And the Bruins bring their punt team onto the field. <laughs> and the 
coverage team able to bring him down. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. going to be incomplete a lot of contact no flag brings up third down well, i'm a big fan of the rpo but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback you gotta make the right decision on this play it just seemed like he was a little hesitant unsure and it cost him here with an incompletion after the incompletion they'll come to the line with third and one they'll try to run for the first down tackle but only after picking up a fresh set of downs and a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Here's a first and ten play. Quarterback still with the football. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Offense getting set. It's second down. And the running back takes the handoff. Gets the first and still running. Big play across midfield. They'll spot it near the 36. Chris, I know when we think about LSU, we go back to 2019. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson. That dynamic offense. But at the end of the day, it's still LSU. It's still the SEC. And ground and pound is something they will never move away from. Great job here. And move the sticks. They'll switch it up here. Looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between a quarterback and the receiver. Man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. You've got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, that's going to cost you. They'll try to run it with the option. They'll toss it to the back. Has the first down still on the move. And they bring him down, but not before he picks up the first. Good execution on the option. Well, that's another good run for him, but what else is new? That ought to put him right at 150 yards for the game. He has really made his presence felt today. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now on this drive. On first down, it's play action. Throws to the tight end. Has Buck. Can he get in? Bring him down short of the goal line, but it's first and goal from the two. This defense has got to do a better job of coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, and this offense could have 50 on you by the end of this game. And the defense bringing out some big bodies to stop the run. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. Ball moved back to the four for second and goal. Looking to the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, LSU. Chris, it's a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. We'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. Convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. The 
kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the UCLA offense takes the field. They were forced to put it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Great execution on the RPO. Quarterback does a nice job as he's putting the ball into the belly of the back, making sure to read his key. This defense was determined. They came up to stop the run. Quarterback saw it, pulled it out, hit the quick slant right behind it for some great yards. The Bruins will crank up the tempo. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's got it already past the first down marker. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. They'll run it from the gun. Breaks loose at the 45. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Good job of picking up some big yards for the first down by UCLA. And Chris, boy, they have had some great backs over the years, and this back's living up to it. Think about it. Maurice Jones-Drew, Jonathan Franklin, Skip Hicks, Deshaun Foster, and believe it or not, some people forget about this, but Jackie Robinson, known for his days of playing with the Dodgers, he got it started at UCLA as a running back himself. They'll give it to the back. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Looking to pass, it's Garbers. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. There's the tight end flexed out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. One of those critical third down plays coming up. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first down. Well, sometimes it's just a backyard brawl, right? I mean, it's third down and short. You trust your back and the line to be able to pick up the first down. And he literally pushes with everything he has, throwing a haymaker there at the finish of that play to pick up the first down. The Bruins starting a new series here on first and 10. And he drops back in the gun. Grab behind the line. It's Sturdivant. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Chris, how about the accuracy here by this quarterback to pick up the first down? And, man, UCLA has had some great play at quarterback. DTR, who just left recently, going back to Cade McNown, and, of course, Troy Aikman, one of the best to ever play the game. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Quick throw to the left. It's caught downfield. And he's brought down at the one-yard line. What a play on the completion. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. First and goal. A good chance to chip away at the lead before halftime. They'll try to run this one in. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. And I just love that this defense is not giving up on this first and goal. They attacked. They got through. They got penetration. A nice job of being able to keep them out of the end zone. 
Backed up to the five-yard line now for second and goal. Looking downfield, it's Garbers. Looking to set up a screen pass here. That play is blown up. Defense makes the tackle in the backfield. Boy, just a great job here by this defense, sniffing out the screen. They were not fooled at all. He caught that ball. He had nowhere to go. It's a loss of yardage. After this long drive, you'd hate to settle for a field goal. Can they find the end zone? Look at a throw on third and goal. He's looking for the end zone, but it is incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. So from the left hash, this is just a chip shot. And he knocks that one right through. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So they settle for three here, and now the kickoff. See if the opposing offense can answer before halftime. Return starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Let's see how this offense plays this. Do they try to get some more points for the half or play it more conservatively. And the junior able to get home with the sack. Well, that's the kind of play right there that this defense has been looking for. Maybe that'll spark them because, let's face it, this game has not gone the way they had hoped. But a play like that sometimes can create some momentum and change the complexion of the football game. Backed up here, second and long from the 15. The back's got it. They'll tackle him out across the 20. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Final seconds in the first half. They will just take a knee and head to the locker room. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. And they'll kick it away now to get this third quarter underway. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Bruins offense back out on the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry-up. Looks right for a quick completion. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. Tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. After a first down loss, it's second and long from the 23. Back to pass. It's Garbers. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. 
Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. Caught way downfield for a huge game. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. The Bruins looking to keep this drive moving. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Grab down the middle. It's Sturdivant. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The Bruins line up on first and ten now. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. Touchdown, UCLA. Strong game by this quarterback. That's a crucial response for this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. comes the point after attempt. PAT is good, makes it an 11-point game, 28-17. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. So some of that first half lead is gone. This game has gotten tighter. There's some urgency now in this possession. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all. That ball carrier being tackled near the line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. Second down after that previous play. Trying to find some room. It's Williams. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Looking for the wide out. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Big game. Moves the ball across midfield to the 45. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. He hands it off from the gun. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Oh, 
caught over the middle. It's Lacey. Tackle, but forced out. This isn't the most flashy play, but it's effective. A slant play coming out of the slot. It's a quick hitter against this defense. New set of downs for the offense. First and ten. The shotgun running play call. They've got him after a seven-yard game, so second and three. They'll hand it off. Unleashes the stiff arm. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. What another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. LSU getting set with a first and ten now. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Grab down the middle. It's Lacey. They bring him down, but a solid game there on first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. And the back gets the football. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown by you Bengals. This offense really clicking. Extra point try coming now. And after the point after, it's a 35-17 game. Getting set to kick the ball off now. They'll return it from inside the five. It's a fumble. The returner loses the football deep in their own territory. Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. And the UCLA offense back out on the field. Oh, boy. The kick returner catches a break. His teammate was able to recognize the ball on the ground and immediately made a heads-up play to get on top of it. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. And the Bruins looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Second down, we're going to throw it. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They bring him down, but a big chunky yardage on the play. You know, in these spread offenses, the game just keeps evolving, and the opportunities keep presenting themselves for the big guys to be able to run a corner out. So hard to cover this. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now the pre-snap motion from the offense out of the shotgun he'll hand it off zero running room stopped right at the line of scrimmage well they keep trying to run the football and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage that has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Dropping back, it's Garbers. Catch made on the left side, and the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion.
down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. He's hit as he throws it. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure works. Do I see what the quarterback's trying to do here? He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long. The defense is able to hit him to force that incompletion. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. On the return, it's Thomas. And the coverage seat gets the returner to the ground. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. And they keep it going. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid gain. Getting closer to midfield now. Well, it's a great completion here. Quarterback puts this ball on the money. And, and when you talk about LSU, to talk about the history, it's easy to bring up Joe Burrow in 2019. But, Chris, you've been following this as long as I have. You know that when LSU is really dangerous, they get consistent play from the quarterback. It doesn't have to be Burrow, but just a guy that can be efficient, be a good leader, and complement the running game. And right now, you're starting to see that from this team. Good completion. Now, can you do it consistently? Because if you can, with the athletes they have around that position, they become a real threat. Second down after that run on the previous play. Ball handed off. And that run produces a decent game. Now they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Can he get there on the ground? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They bring the punter onto the field now. And the punt heads out of bounds, taking the dangerous returner out of play here. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. And this is dropped. This would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking to throw. It's Garbers. Fires it to the wideout. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Looking for his big tight end. Falls incomplete. Broken up by the defender nicely that time. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, when you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows him to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And the returner elects to fair catch it, no return. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. They're going to run it. Back gets the carry. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Takes the handoff. It's Williams. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. 
Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. See what the call is on first and ten. They'll run it here. Finding some room with the 25. Tackle made after a big game. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. It's a quick grab. Tackled at the eight after the completion. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Dropping back. It's Nussmeyer. Looking right. This one caught. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. So it'll be a chip shot from the right hash mark. And it's good right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Snap, hold the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after adding to this big lead, they'll set to kick it away. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Brewers offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Running back grabs it on the screen. And the tackle is made. The screen pass there produces a solid gain. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it, Preston. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. The Bruins come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Bringing pressure. Caught over the middle. It's Sturdivant. It'll be enough for a first down brought down at the 43. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. Looking to throw it on first down. Tries to get it to the running back. Now the senior tries to take a shot, but overthrows his man. Chris, we're all guilty of this. We all look at the big plays, the quarterbacks, the offense, how many points, how many yards. And sometimes we overlook the most important aspect of the game, the offensive line. You've got to do a good job consistently of protecting the quarterback, and all comes down to the offensive line. And here, they hurry the quarterback, and they blow up the play.
challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Back to pass. It's Garbers. Quick throw to the left side. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. It's a bit of a risk. But with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. On the run, he's going to chuck it deep. Caught near the goal line. They make the tackle, but he easily gets first down yardage, and the drive keeps going. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Touchdown, Bruins. This offense is still clicking. Here they just rely on the big boys up front to get a good push, get some tough yards to put six points up on the board. And now the try here for the extra point. And it's up and good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fields it just outside the goal line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? And it's intercepted with a desperation throw here. Not much on the return, but the defense comes up with a takeaway. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Well, you get some positive yards in the opening play of this drive. They need two touchdowns, so anything to move them closer to that first touchdown is always going to be good. The Bruins come to the line in the hurry up. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. He's got it near the end zone. And he scores! Touchdown, UCLA. That's an important score. We've got one possession game now, Kirk, and it's game on. It's game on, and now it's about this defense coming up with a stop. Everybody in the stadium knows that they're going to run the football and try to milk the clock. So what can your defense do to ensure they don't do that successfully? Here's the point after attempt. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. They will return it from inside the 10-yard line. Be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. This game just got tighter. The temptation might be to sit on this lead, but we'll see how aggressive they get. Ball lands harmlessly out of bounds, but at least he avoided the sack here. That was important.
second down play coming up for this offense. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. He's a wide open receiver, complete. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. Because that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. First down, we're going to throw the football. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. He stopped it with the 45, but that's good for a first down. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you'd want to run the football here to work the clock, but these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Oh, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. It'll bring up second down. Boy, this quarterback is living on the edge. Remember, he threw an interception in the last drive. Thought he might learn from that. Instead, he throws the ball right back into coverage. I thought he threw another pick. He better change the way he's playing the game or he's going to cost his team a game. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Offense trying to move into scoring position if they can convert third and short here for the 50. Quarterback drops back. Here's a screen pass to the running back. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Oh, that really hurts for this defense. They get these guys to third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. He'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Oh, the ball is not free. He's got it. Defense falls on the ball. Crucial takeaway. This offense just blew an opportunity. Have a nice lead here in the second half with the football. The last thing you want to do is turn it over, and they put the ball on the ground, and now give your opponent a chance to get right back in this game. And the UCLA offense is back out on the field. It's an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. I understand the offense going to the quick slant, especially when you have a receiver that can do some damage after the catch. Pretty good job here by this defense not allowing that to happen. And the Bruins hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. To throw, it's Garbers. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. This is turning into a monster day for this quarterback, Kirk. His passing yards now up over 350. Yeah, and it seems like this defense has tried everything. They're blitzing. They're sitting back in zone. They're trying to double coverage certain receivers. Everything that they've tried is, unfortunately for them, not working because of how well this quarterback is seeing it and throwing today. Try to catch the defense with the draw. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43. Boy, draws and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. No huddle here for the offense.
Looking to pass here on second down. Snags a quick throw. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, they knew all week that they would have an opportunity to face a lot of man coverage and a lot of blitzing today. And one way that they felt they could counter that, getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands quickly, and especially on the quick slants for big games. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. The Salk were able to bring him down quickly. The offense going with the hurry up. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. The short completion of the tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. It allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. To get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable, that offensive line, and they come through for you. They continue to march toward a game-tying touchdown. It's first and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. To the air. It's Garbers. Looking for a deep completion. Makes the catch. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins. Well, a touchdown to a wide open man. Kirk, what in the world was going on the defensive side on that play? Wow, what was the defense thinking here? You can't let a player roam free like that. They just completely forgot about him and gifted him a touchdown. And the PAT is up and good, and we are all tied here in the final quarter. Kickoff team is on the field to move this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Last possession, they fumbled it away and it set up a touchdown drive. Can they bounce back from that right away? They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Well, the offense goes with a counter play here, and the defense does a pretty good job of slowing it down. Again, you got to be disciplined on defense. Just when you think they're running on the front side, they run that counter play, and you better be home on the back side. Here's the second down play. And the quarterback keeps it here. They stop him, but it's a first down. It almost is like the quarterback just said to himself, I've got this. I'm going to find a way to pick up this first down. He gets the first and keep the chains moving. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. They get the scene with the ground, but it's a nice run there. I love to see this from this running back. Let's not forget, the last time they were out, he put the ball on the ground, but he has a short memory. Comes back out next time, gets the ball in his hands, delivers with a big-time run on this drive. LSU getting set with a first and 10 now. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. The gain is three yards, brings up a second down and seven. A 
offense switches it up here looking to throw the ball now. Grab down the middle. It's Taylor. Take it now, but not before. Makes the first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. LSU now operating in the red zone. Receiver in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. Second down after that run on the previous play. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. The defense will spend their second time out here to make some adjustments. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards, didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense and they better defend this style of play moving forward. Now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. Well, here we are now on fourth down, Chris. And at this point in the game, a field goal gives you the lead. I don't think you roll the dice. I think you kick the field goal, you take the lead, and then you rely on your defense to be able to win this game. But there's nothing more impressive to me than a kicker that can come through in the clutch. Gives them the lead here in the fourth quarter, but there's still time left for a final drive, so their defense will have to step up. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And he takes this from inside the five. Well, he's got a crease here. Look out. They finally get him, but that's a great return. The last line of coverage guys just able to corral him. But a great spot to start this drive. On first and ten, look at the throw. Makes a quick catch. And he's shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Back to throw. It's Garbers. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Well, this is it. Late in the game, really tight situation. This is what separates a good quarterback from a great quarterback. Can he come up with the play to keep this drive alive? So a crucial third down play. To try a field goal from here would be 53 yards. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first down. Well, Chris, to me, the defense looks like they're dropping back in zone coverage, worried about a pass play here on third down. Instead, the offense elects to run the ball, catches them off guard, and it's good enough for a first down. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. Getting set. Here's second down. Quick completion to the tight end. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Here the defense was committed to stop the run. In an RPO, that's a dangerous thing to do. The quarterback sensed that, just pulled the ball out, got it out to the right flat for some good yards. So now it's third and short with a plus 24. Could be four down territory. Interesting to see what the call is here. Looking for the wide out. He's got it right near the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. 
here we go. They take the lead. What an amazing comeback by this team and this offense. Now it comes down to can their defense hold the lead with under a minute to go. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final quarter. So after the late score, they'll kick it off and hope the defense can hold up and preserve this lead. Return starts from inside the five. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. So here we go. They need a touchdown. Got a little time to work with. How will they play this situation? Caught over the middle. It's Williams. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards. But anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. Oh, and he can't quite hold on. That would have sealed the victory. Does bring up third down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. And he'll drop back here on third down. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. And he is wide open for a huge game. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. He goes down and the ball game will end on that turnover. 